Hey Moonbeams, this is Donna Moon Goddess and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. And today we are doing a pick a card for today reading and I'm using the Kali Oracle by Alana Fairchild. All right, Moonbeam, so here are your cards. One through four today. Take a deep breath and relax and let the card choose you. Right now, we're gonna take a closer look at the crystals for each card. This is the crystal for card number one. Like I said, just let the cards or the crystals choose you. That's number two. Whatever one you feel drawn to. And next we're gonna take a look at three and four. And here's number three. And our last card for today, number four. Okay, get ready. We're gonna take one last little look at all the cards, and then we're gonna go straight into group number one. All right, Moonbeams, thanks. We'll see you there. Hey, group number one, welcome. You picked Maha Kali, number 16, and the Carnelian. All right, let's see what the guidebook says. Maha Kali, her magnificence steadies the anxious mind and reassures the heart of the empowering grace that arises through trust in her. Attempting to fathom the wisdom behind the workings of the Divine Mother, would be like trying to cram the entire ocean into a teacup. Such wisdom is vast and our perspective is limited. Yet we don't need to understand divine will to benefit from it. Better to allow her creativity, resourcefulness, and unlimited vision to take effect in our lives, bringing, every, oops, bringing us every grace necessary for our blessed fulfillment. All right, so for the Carnelian, this is um, from Energy Muse, by the way, what I'm reading now. The Carnelian crystal stone meaning is connected to the lower three chakras. It is associated with taking bold action because of its hot and fiery energy that stimulates the root chakra, helping circulate vital energy to your core center, which contains your deepest desires and powerful creative instincts. The carnelian crystal meaning not only boosts courage and self-confidence, but on a cellular level, it purifies the blood and improves circulation, which helps you take action. Together, the energy of passion and action make carnelian an essential component of every crystal collection. It is the ideal stone for bringing motivation and determination to your endeavors as well, guiding you to recognize your self-worth. Sounds amazing. Okay, and your card was number 16. So this is from Affinity Numerology and the numerology number 16 resonates with wisdom, independence, and family. The numerology number 16 is a number of introspection. It's wise, intuitive, and tends to be independent. The number 16 is both spiritual and analytical, a philosopher with sound arguments. Okay, group one, I hope that resonated with you and thanks so much for watching. Please like the video if you liked it and of course, as always, subscribe if you're new. Thanks, take care. Mwah. Hey, welcome group number two. You chose Guna Tantrika. Uh, card number five with the pyrite. All right, for you, the book reads, the divine mother manifests the cure for when we feel overwhelmed or confused or when we feel we're falling apart or locked into stagnation. She is a superior medicine. Even when we may not be sure what is needed to bring ourselves back into balance, she holds the answers. 
tune into your heart and there you will find her sacred prescription trust your inner guiding sense of what to do or not to do next trust that a better order is being established all right and for your crystal you chose pyrite so this is from energy muse okay because pyrite crystal holds the golden energy of the sun it is a very positive and uplifting stone to keep in your space it will help invite in positive energy and it is extremely protective against negative energy another pyrite meaning is to protect your aura and act as an energetic shield against negativity its reflective nature sends low vibrational energy back to where it came from and it cannot infiltrate your energy field when you are drawn to raw pyrite crystal your spirit is vibrating on the frequency of abundance prosperity and success connect with the energy of pyrite when you need a little encouragement positivity and uplifting especially when it comes to your career or passion the stone will help you adopt a mindset of living in abundance which will in turn bring more opportunities and positivity your way in all areas of your life beautiful all right and your number is five so these um, numerology numbers are from affinity numerology and the numerology number five is an expression of personal freedom and wit and a sense of adventure a numbers meaning can be thought of as the numbers basic tone or vibration as an overview the numerology number five represents a composite energy containing the ideas of expression of personal freedom and sensuality. Okay, group number two, thanks so much for hanging out with me today and I hope that resonated with you and please if you like the video, give it a like and also if you're new, feel free to subscribe because I do this kind of content often. All right, have a great day. Mwah. Welcome group number three. You chose the adorable Devi Ma Kali, card number 29 and the Amethyst. All right, your card reads, endlessly loving, infinitely forgiving. She will never turn away from you. No matter what you have done, no matter how many mistakes you have made, she is here for you always. Feel the safety and sanctuary of her divine hugs. She is your soft place to fall and your kindest and most enthusiastic advocate. Let her shift your experience away from endless tasks and ever greater expectations into sweet relief and comforting connection. Boy, doesn't that sound lovely. All right, so you chose number 29. Should I do the, no, I'll do 29 first. Okay, this comes from Affinity Numerology. So the number 29 is highly relationships oriented. Its very existence is intertwined with the dynamics of relationships. A person with the number 29 in a major position of their numerology chart tends to be diplomatic, a team worker, and enjoy trusted companionship. There's compassion, not only for the teams or groups 29 is associated with, but also for humanity as a whole. In numerology, every number has an inherent meaning, a certain essence. A number's meaning in numerology chart depends on the number's position in the chart and is derived from the number's inherent meaning. As an overview, the numerology number 29 represents a composition containing the ideas of relationships, teamwork, compassion, companionship, and diplomacy. All right, and let's see what the beautiful amethyst meaning is. And this is from Energy Muse. The amethyst crystal's properties are deeply connected to the third eye chakra, the center of spirituality and intuition, and the crown chakra, the chakra that governs our connection to the universe. 
these energy centers can be associated with the color purple, which helps to explain why amethyst crystal is such a powerful stone to balance, open, and activate the third eye and crown chakras. When working with the amethyst crystal, healing properties to bring more peace, relaxation, and spiritual awareness into your life. You'll begin to understand why amethyst is one of the most popular and sought after crystals around the world. And so it is, it is very popular. All right, group number three, thank you so very much for spending time with me today. I hope that resonated with you and please remember to like the video if you liked it. And if you are brand new or if you haven't subscribed yet and you're not new, please subscribe. It helps me so much. And I love to have you with me. All right, have a great day. Mwah. Hey, welcome group number four. You chose Nitya Kali card number 30 and the moonstone all right your card reads she calls us away from the world to journey inwards where a path of sacred introversion beckons turning within may feel natural or unfamiliar but in journeying within you will gain energy insight and freedom from the constraints of what has been Allow that which needs to end to do so. You shall realize you are not being denied, but released. There is something new on the horizon. Honor your losses, but keep hope in your heart for what is meant to be. All right, that was lovely. Okay, let's see. Should we do your number or your stone first? Let's do the stone first. Moonstone, the destiny maker. This is from Energy Muse, by the way. The moonstone crystal, stone meaning, is linked with the energy of the moon. This stone channels the brilliant white illumination of moonbeams, shining light on your pathway to balance and harmony. Because it embodies the energy of light, connecting with the moonstone crystal also works to raise your vibration and uplift your spirit. Together, these forces guide you out of the darkness and into the light. The moonstone crystal meaning is also associated with the inner goddess, a symbol of fertility and sensuality. The life-giving feminine figure is an empowering visualization that helps to unlock the inner goddess that exists deep within your spirit. The goddess energy allows you to get back to your own natural rhythm and discover hidden treasures deep within the self. This is a powerful crystal for anyone wanting to connect with their feminine side or anyone at any stage of the life-giving cycle from the process of conceiving to pregnancy and birth. And your number is 30. All right, these uh, meanings I'm reading are coming from affinitynumerology.com. The numerology number 30 represents highly creative and social energies. 30 resonates with optimism. It can be thought of as a limitless three. The creative digit three followed by the unlimited digit zero. The numerology essence of the number 30 resonates with and supports creative expression and encourages it in others. 30 is imaginative. It's an effective communicator. It's tolerant and joyful and dynamic. People associating themselves with someone imbued with the energy represented by the number 30 find their energy and outlook on life uplifted, their inner creativeness awakened, and their future looking brighter. The number 30 tends to be enthusiastic about other artists' works. All right, group number four, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate all of you as always. And please, if you like the video, please give it a like. And if you're new, please subscribe. Also, if you're not new and you haven't subscribed, think about subscribing. It helps me so much. And I always love to have you all with me. Thanks so much, Moonbeams. Please take care of yourselves and have a fantastic day. Mwah.